Anakin's lightsaber form was terrifying, brutal, swift, and without mercy, but yet was still allowed in the Jedi Order. However, there were of course aspects of Anakin Skywalker's many duels that the Jedi Council found disturbing. During his climactic duel with Count Dooku, the Jedi Council believed that Anakin Skywalker had potentially gone too far. It's actually quite a well-documented lightsaber technique to remove an enemy's weapon hand. However, Anakin went the extra mile and removed both of Dooku's hands, including the one that was not currently holding his lightsaber, something that is considered highly dishonorable for a Jedi and was concerning for Anakin. However, there was far more aspects to Anakin's lightsaber form that the Jedi Council found, well, outright disturbing. So much so, that for the brief amount of time before Order 66 was initiated, they considered outlawing it and banning it from the Jedi Order entirely. And today, let's break down open up a holocron and explain why. Anakin Skywalker's desired lightsaber form as of the time of Revenge of the Sith was a Form 5 variant known as Gem So. The other variant known as Xi'en mainly focused on deflecting blaster fire. However, Anakin took this a step further, wanting to incorporate the heavy power strikes and swiftness of mobility into a dueling-centric variant, therefore Gem So. Anakin Skywalker is not the inventor of Gem So, however many of the Council believe that he did in fact perfect it. Many Jedi before Anakin also utilized Gem So or variants of this, such as the Battlemaster at the time in Syndralic. Luke Skywalker would even go on to use Gem So himself, as this would be his primary lightsaber form. Gem so was in fact a force ability developed by the Jedi and not by the Sith, as a direct response to heavy power strikes of those that used Form 7 lightsaber combat Juya being highly aggressive. Therefore, the Jedi Order needed something to counter this with heavy power strikes that would not lean too far into the dark side. What's important to note though is that many Jedi at the time believed that Jem So went too far in combating Juya and believed that it had become too aggressive and leaned too far into the gifts of the dark side, something that Anakin Skywalker effectively proved against his fight with Dooku on the invisible hand. But let's break it down further. What specifically about Jem So did some Jedi think were too far and wanted it removed from the archives. The aspect that many pointed out as to why it was so concerning is because it was purely offensively minded and purely offensively based. Jedi that used Gem So mounted a massive offensive attack to counter the more aggressive aspects of Sith dueling. It is well known that Gem So is the most physically demanding of all of the lightsaber forms, as it essentially detailed breaking down an enemy's offense with a superior offense yourself. Gem So was developed during an era where the most widely prolific lightsaber form was Form 3 Sirisu, used by our very own Obi-Wan Kenobi. Also known as the all-defensive form, this came in an era where the Sith were prevalent throughout the galaxy, and because of this, many Jedi were losing their encounters with Sith, who were basically too brutal and too offensive-minded, with the defenses of the Jedi eventually crumbling. A major complaint of Sirisu was that it simply prolonged the inevitable, the inevitable being the Sith superiority in striking down a Jedi, and therefore the Jedi of this era went back to the drawing board and came up with Gem So. Where Gem So was supposed to differ from the likes of Juya is Juya was more of a mindset than anything else. Juya involved directly using a utilizer's emotions and their hatred to fuel their blade. Although there were exact sequences affiliated with Juya, it was meant to be almost completely randomized, using the dark side and the force itself to channel the path and direction of the blade. This was highly dangerous for those of Sirisu, who had very strict combat form and very strict variations and movements with their lightsabers. In a direct description of Gem So, it caused for violence, something that should be staunchly against the Jedi way. The way Gem So was intended to work was to instantly parry an opponent's attack and then move into an offensive strike of your own, swinging your blade as quickly as you can and as heavily as you can, a tactic that was known to end duels nearly instantaneously. However, Anakin Skywalker used a different version of this, creating an almost completely offensive-minded form, levying heavy strike after heavy strike against an opponent. In its purest form, Gem So was a very acceptable lightsaber form among the Jedi, as it did place a heavy emphasis on defense in its purest form, starting with defense but meeting it with offense, where it was ultimately changed and altered is the offensive mindset that many Jedi would adopt when using it. Its detractors stated that Gem So was a variant of lightsaber combat used to dominate an opponent, something that is staunchly against 
against the Jedi way, thus leading more individuals to embrace the darker aspects. Similar to Juya, Jem So was also a variant of lightsaber combat that was fueled by emotion, even though it was not intended to be. When a Jedi became so engaged in winning a lightsaber duel, they did away with all of their compassion. And again, this is not the Jedi way, with many of its detractors pointing to its similarities to Seven. What's shocking about Jem So, though, is it was not only a favorite of the Jedi Order and Anakin, but also of the Sith. Specifically one Sith, though, who admired the form a great deal, and who adopted it as his primary lightsaber form, again drawing the connection between Form 7 and Form 5. This individual was Darth Bane. Darth Bane stated that he believed that Forms 5 and 7 should be taught to all Sith, as Bane preferred Form 5 because he was such a physically domineering opponent, and he could use this to his great advantage. In many ways, Bane and Anakin Skywalker are actually similar combatants, using their superior physical skill to dominate an opponent with their blade. Darth Bane was a huge proponent of Jem So, and encouraged the Sith to use the dark side and their emotions to make the form more powerful, with Darth Bane directly noting that this was difficult to achieve in other lightsaber forms such as Sarisu and even Ataru even though it was aggressive. This in a sense proves that Jem So does have some sort of alignment with the dark side. Darth Bane personally even stated that he believed that Form 5 for many Sith Lords was superior to Form 7, as he said that many Sith had the bad tendency of losing complete control over their emotion, therefore losing track of their surroundings and ultimately losing a duel as a result of their very ferocity that fuels their blade. This is why Bane would channel his aggression into Jem So, which he believed was more refined. During their climactic duel, in the Revenge of the Sith novelization, it's explained that Dooku himself feels a shift in the duel as Anakin begins to lean more into his emotions, becoming one of the finest specimens of Jem So that Dooku has ever seen, in a power that he did not believe was possible. This is because Anakin Skywalker is no longer using the variation of the form developed by the Jedi, now he is using Darth Bane's Jem So, and it it is Darth Bane's Gem So that ultimately defeats Dooku. While it is true some Jedi can use Gem So to perfection, holding back and reining in their emotions and simply focusing on ending the duel as quickly as possible with an offensive mindset, Anakin Skywalker and other more volatile Jedi would eventually give into their strength in the dark side to fuel the form, with it being more akin to a drug and sensing that they're more powerful, pure adrenaline flowing through them the adrenaline of the dark side, but it is because of the simple fact that they're winning the duel that they lean more heavily into it, the allure of the darkness that Anakin eventually gave into. But now I leave the question up to you my friends, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on Jem So being outlawed by the Jedi Order? Do you believe that it should have been rightfully outlawed, or are you with another large portion of the Jedi that believed that the form was completely fine? and that some Jedi used it to perfection in service of the light? Or are you with the group of Jedi that believe that it leans too heavily and too far into the gifts of the darkness, and should be outlawed and banned from the Order entirely? As always my friends, thank you so much for watching the channel, may the force be with you, and I will hopefully see you in another video.